Hey, Rocket High 45, discussion about the future impact of this week's world and tech news leading towards a singularity. I'm Tristan Grace. I'm Nathan Waters. This is High 45, episode 23. Do you like our backdrop? Yeah, it's yeah. new. We redid it all. It's a rasturbation. Of it neurons? Is. Neurons? Yeah! They're like yeah. zooming, zoom, zoom. It's kind of cool. Pretty cool. So, uh, what have we got this week? What do we Oh, yeah, we should do a quick little thing. Um, uh, I got tel- telescopic eye implants. Ooh, I like that. I've got Revenge of the Quadrocopters. Ooh, I've also got uh, mobile phone coverage as a, in a mesh network. Ooh, and uh, I've got that uh, computers are actually making us dumber rather than smarter. Ooh, okay. And then and a singularity topic. Yeah. Fucking or computation. Wolf from Alpha. Wolf from Alpha. Oh uh, wait, that's still Wolf from. from yeah. yeah. Pretty cool. Stay tuned. H plus. Awesome. <laughs> awesome talk he did. So. Stay tuned. Don't turn it off now. I mean. It was, Sure, you got all the links, but whatever. Just yeah. keep watching. Be cool. <laughs> oh, let's start with your one. Um, okay, cool. This is the big news this week in technology. Uh, they're basically... The FDA has just approved a telescopic eye implant. Shit. And literally, it is a tiny telescope that they just implant into your eye. <laughs> and, and, and they're using it to cure the blindness. Um, and it's approved by the FDA. Yep. Wow. By this company called Vision Care Ophthalmic. It's intended for patients over 75 years of age who are suffering from end stage macular oh. degeneration. Serious? Yeah. Over 75 years. We, I, I'm guessing we don't really. Yeah, know. I know. Well, but, like, yeah, well, like, what would you risk fucking up your eyes? A telescope. <laughs> Come on, it would be, be pretty cool. But a telescope in your eye. And, and, and I it's mean, approved. That's surprising. Yeah. Like, I, I, I'd love to be the FDA yeah, person going there. Telescope in your eye. Right. <laughs> well, you know what? Fuck it. Have a telescope in your eye. I don't care. Like, quit How cool would that be if you could actually zoom into the micro level? Mm. Oh, it's, it's, it's a beginning. Or it's going to go there. Up to space or x-ray vision. You know, e- everything. Every spectrum of the... You know. Well, last week we were talking about the eyeball and all of that. I mean, that's just a natural progression yeah, for it. Yeah. yeah, like, I mean, just put the uh, a camera just actually on the end and then have the telescopic lens going there. Yeah. <laughs> I just jacked off my eye. <laughs> And uh, it could work really well. I mean, it's just optical zoom, really. Yeah. Literally. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Good way to find this. Oh, come on. That was a good one. That was a good one. Yeah. Come on. You love it. <laughs> What's these quadrocopters? Yeah, quadrocopters are pretty cool. Like, I've spoken about the quadrocopters yeah, we've, before. We've had these in the previous episode. We have. We have. Yeah. Uh, well, we had one of them. And uh, now that they're redoing it, and this is what I love. I love stories like this that actually continue to evolve. I mean, that's great. They, they've got these lovely little... Uh, this movie here of actually using well the picture right here is of four quadrocopters actually picking up a beam and stuff they have in the video as well of just one coming down with a claw and picking up something and going cool but uh yeah the the article's just pretty much yeah so it's not really saying too much it's just saying that yeah now they can all uh, work together and stuff i'm guessing it's just a software optic that just programmed them together but these are flying machines so they have like swarm intelligence now Oh, or is it just a... I think it's probably just a program update, but yeah, yeah that they like can pick up a beam together and they can do all this stuff. And yeah, I think it's pretty, pretty damn awesome. Like, check out the video. You will want one as soon as they're released. Like, <laughs> oh, my the God. Time. Now they move in packs. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> they move in packs. But have you played Half-Life 2? No. Oh, well, they've got like the man hacks, which are like these like flying, like, you know, cutters of death. Right. And now everyone says that like, oh my God, these are man hacks because yeah, they're just amazing. Okay. Well, the cool thing with these as well, like control with the joystick and uh, yeah, go and do that because it's still balanced by the rest. Like they are autonomous, Yeah. but you know, you can still control, have some fun. Anyway, yeah, now they move in packs and they're very terrifying. And uh, as soon as they're released in the general public, I am so getting one and you guys should too. We can combine <laughs> it together. We'll take over the world. <laughs> I like the idea of tracking people. Oh God, just having it hold just messing with them. Make, oh, dude, you can make it pick up stuff and just follow someone and drop it on them. Ooh, that would be fun. Just to mess with them. How much fun would that be? Just flying it around, like, especially in the early adopter <laughs> phase that no one knows what's yeah. going on. They hear this... <laughs> it's like the Boo Zaylas of Wollongong. <laughs> it drops stuff on you. Just picks up dead animals and drops them in front of you. <laughs> yes. Like, ah, oh, why? The solution to roadkill. <laughs> That'd be brilliant. Anyway, yeah, check this out. This is, this is cool. I'm following these with gusto. With gusto. With gusto. With okay. Gusto. Uh, my story. Next one. Be. Okay. Um, researchers at an Australian university, actually. This is why I kind of picked it. Ooh. It was cool. What uh, Flinders University in Adelaide. 
Adelaide is a place uh, renowned for lack of innovation and really general boringness. I'm not sure how true it is, but you've just pissed off a large <laughs> group of people. How many Adelaide viewers do we have? Three. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, anyway, they've made a mobile net mesh network. Like people have been talking about this for a while, having like a the ability to do an ad hoc uh, mobile network where you would essentially not need a giant sort of central phone cell tower, but you could just bounce Wi-Fi and 3G and stuff from phone to phone to phone to phone. Cool. Like an ad hoc network. And so these guys have actually they've put together this thing called the Serval Project, um, which can do this. And they tested it out like in a desert in somewhere in South Australia. Um, and, and it yeah, worked. And it worked. So they actually used their phones so, as like nodes to bounce the signal yeah. back. So if you can't if you can't actually get a signal, if you're within range of another phone, it could then just bounce it across. The big question, does that count to your upload limits? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm sure it sounds true would count, yeah, or opposite. Yeah. <laughs> Still, that is pretty damn awesome. But um, this oh. is, like, especially, they've been talking about this for a while. I, I'm, I'm not sure why this hasn't been done before. It seemed like it was a breakthrough because it's across all these new sites. Yeah. Um, I guess it's just how it's going to be rolled out, if it will be rolled out. They, they haven't spoken a lot about, like, on the mobile and stuff. Like, they tried to do it, I know, with uh, just the actual towers having different uh, nodes around and that would just bounce through, like, the mesh network. Oh. They have, the off like uh, you'd have like street poles and all that instead of having like you know big okay, towers yeah. around you just have lots of little ones yeah, yeah. but actually doing it with phone is new I haven't yeah. heard of that that's sweet go Flinders go Australia proud of you yeah. <laughs> it's great. it makes sense but um, I don't know how they're going to roll it out and well that's it especially in Australia it's probably a bad place because we have to pay for our uh, data you know well and like I think it, it, this, only, this only, yeah, this only, yeah, <laughs> true capital. <laughs> like we're, we're one of the most <laughs> least dense countries in the world. Yeah. So really silly research project, but yeah. cool that it worked. But it would be cool for like, imagine like you know the US or India or something like that. Yeah, which is really even the cities really yeah. dense. Yeah. Oh, but then again, we already pretty have good coverage. But still, it's a it's a cool proof of concept. It's, they did it. It's great. Yeah. It's going to find usage. It's just we well, can't. particularly um, it's it's often been uh, they want to feel like a uh, say. What's the term? Like environmental disasters and stuff, like earthquakes. And oh! Like when, when the communication system goes down, you can bounce, you can Nuclear basically... attack. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there we go, we're protected. From nuclear attacks. Well, that's why the internet was developed. <laughs> Extend you know. Well, yeah, yeah, it's just getting the message around. That's it. It's a new way to get the message around. Really cool. Look. Sweet. Cool. I like it. Um, um, and this last one, this has been a buzz all over the web recently. Uh, but uh, the one I'll just say the link from is the latest <laughs> one, so the New York Times. Which you have, have to fucking log into. Oh, I have to access. sign into it, but I, I signed into it before, like, pa, who cares. Um, yeah, that, uh, they've done some tests and all of that, that we always think that, well, I, I still do think, uh, anyway, uh, that giving a computer to someone and giving them access to the internet will make them smarter. Yep. But, according to this study, and they did a few studies, that it does, it makes actual kids perform not as well on their uh, standardized tests. That they uh, perform right. worse. Okay. And uh, yeah, and uh, it's funny. Like one of the, the things here in the, the quotes in the talk was that yeah, they say that oh, what did, what do you use your computer for? Everyone says doing homework. What do they actually use their computer for? Can't guess. Porn. No, they they're kids. They're like in primary school. Porn. No. <laughs> <laughs> Playing games. That's what they do. Porn games. Well, maybe depending on the kid. <laughs> Shit, I'll be doing that. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, so that, that's yeah. what uh, apparently most people are doing. And then uh, uh, great discussions around here. There's so many discussions about this whole thing because, I mean, come on. We're, we're internet geeks and the majority of forums we visit, the people who post on forums are internet geeks. Actually saying that having access to the net makes you dumber? Oh, that's got to strike a few nerves. Yeah. But what people are saying it is that... they're reading, it doesn't... That's it. it. That's exactly it. That, I mean, you give them access like if you're just, to it. If you're just going to be reading Facebook, then... Yeah, that's it. What are you well, going to learn there? You've got okay. access to TED, you've got access to Khan Academy, you've got access to all this stuff, but if you don't view it, then it's totally wasted on you. Although then again, our issue is, um, I guess, attention span. Well, that's true. That's a, that's a, that's a big right. issue, but it's, I don't think it's related to education. 